In 1957, the Soviet Union put Sputnik into orbit around the Earth. It was the first man-made satellite ever to do so. This was also the unofficial beginning of the space race, which led to amazing technological advances. Since then, rockets the size of skyscrapers have been built all over the world. Now more than ever, people need to leave a bigger mark in space. Keep watching if you want to learn about the most powerful rockets ever made, as well as those that are just around the corner. But before we start our video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon as well. So, let's get started. Number 10 Space Shuttle, 60,600 pounds payload. One of the most powerful rockets ever made was also one of the vehicles that was used the most times. The United Launch Alliance, which is a partnership between Lockheed Martin and Boeing, built the Space Shuttle launch system in 1981 to send people and supplies to lower Earth orbit and the International Space Station. The Space Shuttle went on 135 missions during its lifetime. The Space Shuttle had to be able to handle the weight of the space bus in order to send it into space. The rocket was about 4.5 million pounds and 184 feet tall. The Space Shuttle could send 60,600 pounds to low Earth orbit because it had one of the biggest external tanks and two solid rocket boosters, LEO. But in 2011, NASA ended the program because it had two terrible failures that killed 14 American astronauts. Number 9 Delta IV Heavy, 63,000 pounds payload. After the United States' biggest rocket was taken out of service, the United Launch Alliance, ULA, built the Delta IV Heavy in 2004 to continue its work. Even though it wasn't nearly as big, the rocket was easier to launch and could still carry heavy loads. The Delta IV is currently the second most powerful rocket that is still in use. The 236-foot-tall rocket weighs 1.6 million pounds and is 236 feet tall. It can carry up to 63,000 pounds of payload into low Earth orbit. It is powered by a common booster core and two side boosters. The CIA's Orion spy satellites can't be sent into space without the Delta IV. In 2024, the ULA plans to get rid of the rocket. Number 8 Falcon Heavy, 141,000 pounds payload. One of the main reasons why Delta IV Heavy is being phased out is because of one of the most important advances in the history of space travel. The Falcon Heavy from SpaceX is almost the same size as the heavy launch vehicle from the ULA. However, it can carry twice as much and costs half as much to launch. Elon Musk used modified Falcon 9 parts to launch this rocket for the first time in 2018. The Falcon Heavy is about 230 feet tall and weighs 3.1 million pounds. The rocket can carry up to 141,000 pounds of cargo, but it was also made to take people into deep space. SpaceX planned to use the rocket to send astronauts back to the moon after its first launch was a huge success. But the company changed direction and started working on a much bigger project. Keep reading to find out what that project is. Number 7 Soviet N1, 210,000 pounds payload. John F. Kennedy told the public in 1962 that the United States would be the first country to put a person on the moon. When the Cold War was at its worst, the Soviet Union stepped up to the challenge. While the US was hard at work making what would be one of the most powerful rockets ever made, the USSR was making its own. But right around this time, the Soviet regime started to lose steam. By the time an underfunded rocket called the N-1 was ready to launch for the first time in 1969, it was clear that the US would win. Even though the Soviet rocket was 345 feet tall and very big, it was very unstable. After four failed attempts to launch, including one big crash right after takeoff, the project was put on hold and then ended in 1976. Number 6 Energia 220,000 pounds payload. The cancellation of the N1S did not mean that the Soviet Union would no longer try to win the space race. After seeing how well the US space shuttle did, the USSR made its own space plane. But to launch the Buran spacecraft, the Soviet Union did not have a very heavy-duty rocket. So, the Energia was built in 1987 so that it could take its first test flight. The Energia was only 192 feet tall, which was a lot less than its US rival. The Soviet rocket had a medium core stage and four unique boosters instead of a tall central booster and two strap-on boosters. Finally, the Soviet Union had a rocket that could carry a lot of weight. After the country broke up, there was no longer enough money to keep the Energia rocket running. Number 5 Yenisei, 290,000 pounds payload. It's been 25 years since Russia went into space, but in 2018, the country said it would do so again. 
Just as SpaceX was getting ready for the first test flight of the Falcon Heavy, the company that built the Energia announced its newest project, Yenise. It will be Russia's first super heavy launch vehicle since the fall of the USSR, even though it is still being made. Since the technical design of the rocket was just finished at the end of last year, not much is known about it. We do know, though, that the Yenise will weigh about 6.8 million pounds and be able to carry 100 tons. The Russian launch vehicle is ready to be made, and a test launch is planned for 2028. Number 4 SLS, Space Launch System, Dash 300,000 pounds payload. With the success of the Falcon Heavy, it is now easier to send people into space. This is why NASA announced the Artemis program. The program was designed to send humans back into deep space. To keep people in space safe, NASA would have to build a new rocket. The Space Launch System is one of the most powerful rockets ever made. It was made by some of the most important defense contractors in the United States working together. This rocket launcher is 365 feet tall and very heavy. It can carry payloads of up to nearly 300,000 pounds in the upper echelon and nearly 210,000 pounds in lower Earth orbit. The rocket will send astronauts to the moon so they can build a base there. But this huge rocket costs a lot to launch, and the fact that it is disposable makes people worry about its future in the industry. Number 3 Long March 9th 310,000 pounds payload. The Long March 9th is the newest rocket from China's Long March line of launch vehicles. The rocket is still being made, but American rockets have already changed in interesting ways. The Long March 9th doesn't have any external boosters. Instead, it has a single core booster with massive 120 ton engines. The super heavy launch vehicle from China will be 364 feet tall and weigh more than 9 million pounds. It should be able to carry 310,000 pounds of cargo. Test flights of the Long March 9th could happen as early as 2028. Number 2 Saturn V, 310,000 pounds payload. No other rocket launcher in history has been as successful as the Saturn V. The rocket was an amazing piece of technology. When it was made in 1969, it was bigger and stronger than anything else ever made. Even after it was taken off the market in 1973, no other design could match it for almost 50 years. The Saturn V was made to take people to the moon, and it was the right size for that job. The rocket launcher was 363 feet tall and almost 6.5 million pounds heavy. Most impressive is that it can carry 310,000 pounds, which is more than any other rocket has ever been able to carry. Even the SLS won't be as powerful as the Saturn V, and its record will stand until SpaceX gets ready to launch Starship, which will be its biggest project to date. Number 1 Starship, 330,000 pounds payload. Since the beginning, SpaceX has had one main goal, to settle Mars. Founded in 2002, the spaceflight company made quick progress toward that goal. Falcon Heavy's first launch in 2018 was a big deal because it could send people back to the moon. But SpaceX quickly moved on to a bigger goal that needed a bigger vehicle. SpaceX wanted to go to more than just the moon. It also wanted to go to Mars. NASA announced the Artemis project, which plans to build bases on the moon and other places, and Elon's spaceflight company announced Starship, a huge rocket. This rocket would be bigger than any other rocket in history, including the famous Saturn V. Starship was made as quickly as possible. The test flight for the vehicle could happen this year, and it's a beast. The Starship is 400 feet long and 10 million pounds heavy. The rocket should be able to carry payloads of up to 330,000 pounds and up to 100 people. And probably the most amazing thing about it is how much it costs to launch. Each launch is estimated to cost $250 million, which is 10 times less than the SLS. These are the top 10 most powerful rocket engines. If you like the video, leave a comment below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more top 10 informative videos. Don't forget to press the bell icon. Thanks for watching.